हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम वंस अगेन एट आर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस एंड इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर बुकिश टॉपिक बाय आर के नारायण एंड दिस चैप्टर एक्चुअली इज एन एसे रिटर्न इन ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल स्टाइल इन विच नारायण प्रेजेंट्स हिज थाट्स इन इज टिपिकल ह्यूमरस स्टाइल सो फ्रेंड्स अ ब्रीफ इंट्रोडक्शन एक्चुअली ही डजेंट रिक्वायर एन इंट्रोडक्शन बट स्टिल आर के नारायण नाइनटीन ओ सिक्स टू टू थाउजेंड वन राधर क्रिएटिव लॉन्ग लाइफ स्पैन वी ऑल नो हिज फुल नेम रसीपुरम कृष्ण स्वामी अयर नारायण ही वॉज बॉर्न एंड ब्रॉट अप इन एट मद्रास दैट टाइम मद्रास एट प्रेजेंट चेन्नई एट हिज ग्रैंड मदर्स हाउस मोस्ट ऑफ हिज वर्कस Uh, we all know uh, almost all the indians are aware of his fictitious south indian town malguri malguri is the setting of most of the works by r k narayan and uh, basically he wrote 15 novels uh, five volumes of short stories uh, two travel books numerous essays translation of indian epics two plays and memoir my days so we can say lot of works and each work is filled with gentle humor gentle irony and presenting the essential quintessential common indian man if we talk about uh, his essay writing actually he is more popular as a novelist but he has also contributed to the non fiction area of essays Uh, and uh, he has also composed a number of essays there are basically two collections next sunday sketches and essays and reluctant guru they are his two collections of essays in which he has written essays in a discursive style uh, while reading narayan's essay one is often remembered of charles lamb's writing essay writing style in which there is a, always a personal touch there is a, we can say a, an intimate tone as if he is talking to the reader who is sitting uh, in front of him if we talk about this particular essay a bookish to uh, topic it is taken from his collection of essays next sunday and like many other essays in this volume it is an autobiographical essay now dear friends uh, an autobiographical essay is actually in which writer puts his thought or her thoughts but also have some element element taken from his or her own life now narayan presents in this particular essays his views on the book borrowers who never returned the book which they borrow now it's a very you know common problem and actually narayan as a writer is uh, very much you know troubled by those uh, borrowers who take books from him but never bother to return it in a very humorous style narayan presents his frustration and thoughts about this particular uh, concept the essay is written in a satirical tone though it is written in a satirical tone it reflects uh, his frustration with such uh, book thieves and their devious clever ways uh, they used to dodge uh, the book owner whenever the book owner demands the book from them they always have some excuse or other now the essay opens with the clear statement that the writer detests the writer of this essay he detests those persons he is completely uh, you know angry with those persons who borrow a book and doesn't care to return it so he is basically uh, uh, criticizing those persons and the writer feels great misgivings about such persons he thinks that such persons are a bane curse to the society now uh, calling such a careless person a book pirate now pirate uh, we know that book pirate uh, actually pirate is uh, for a person who takes who loots uh, something from uh, some something from other person so a person he is not just a borrower he is a book pirate the writer says he would teach such a person a proper lesson if he could catch him again but this remains a wish actually because 
he is never able uh, to lay hand on this person who is always dozy who is very clever and he never uh, get into the contact of the uh, book lender now most probably this particular just the book pirate the book thief he would always dodge the book lender with some or other excuse as if he is always behind the hedge whenever he confronts when there is a chance of meeting again with the book lender this book pirate is always behind the bush he is almost invisible the writer uh, describes step by step uh, the book pirate's behavior and responses uh, in case he is inquired about the book whenever there is meeting between the lender and the borrower what are the different responses or excuses uh, such a book thief generally comes with now in the first meeting when it is just a first meeting uh, the brazen the we can say very uh, ungrateful uh, borrower would just say he has not still read the book and uh, he is quite busy uh, quite busy and he would pose himself as if he is a person who couldn't manage time to read such an uninteresting trivial book now this this is enough uh, to put the writer into bad mood because the book when it was borrowed uh, the borrower have shown interest in it and now he says aha uh -huh, i don't have any time to read it it is a trivial thing i have many things at my hand so i can't uh, read it now now um, the book owner feels offended because uh, the importance given to the book is nil but he can't do anything about it he just thinks that if that person has kept the book for such a long time let him have it for some more time let him return it only after reading it uh, he has already taken so much time so it's better the time passes in this fashion and when one day the book owner realizes that the book is still not returned that he still doesn't have the book he ventures he tries to ask for it again from the book borrower the borrower first shows no sign of remembering about it he he becomes just oh, which book you are talking about i don't remember having any book taken from you after many efforts when the book uh, lender is able to remind him that that was the book uh, you have taken on that particular occasion i have asked about this book for many times he just shrugs his shoulder saying oh i don't remember it but maybe there is book but i have to search it you have to give me time now if in the next meeting the borrower on being asked about the book once again that where is that book uh, where about the book he informs that actually the book is no more with him it 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 has been taken by some of his relatives some of his uncle some of his in-laws who don't live there they they are somewhere else so now the book owner he becomes desperate he pleads with him that please uh, if you are not able to contact that relative give me his or her number he would even bear the postal charges but the borrower seems totally disinterested he doesn't have uh, um, he doesn't show any uh, you know effort in bringing that book and uh, he is not ready to take any such measures uh whatever the book uh, lender is pointing out this uh, now the book owner he begins to lose patience and every time he wants to get some definite information about the where about of the book the borrower simply evades and uh, the inquiries and he is totally unbothered he is totally we can say unaffected by the pleas by the condition of the book lender because he doesn't understand the value uh, of the book for the book owner now more time passes the book owner uh, now the book borrower uh, this time evades the owner completely by refusing to come face to face whenever there is a chance he just uh, goes away from the uh, path and the owner finally realizes that all the chances of recovering the book are lost now he he also loses his hopes finally 
uh, this bitter experience uh, the writer says he would support the political party uh, which declares in its manifesto that uh, book borrowing is illegal only for such party uh, his vote will go the writer now shares a complicated situation uh, it's like uh, the idiom to have your cake and eat it too means having uh, two opposite uh, experiences together he says that a person when he reads a book or she reads a book they like to share uh, the book with their other book readers also having common interest and that is why uh, they want to give it they want to share uh, in their circles of the friends but uh, once the book is given they cannot expect that it would be returned on time or returned after all both things are not possible together once a book is land its return always become dubious there the, the chances of getting it back is not very bright the writer but now mentions a particular person who has been successfully able to manage his personal library without ever losing a book now this is an exception he says yes even there are persons who are able to achieve this feat this person is very methodical keeping exact record of the books uh, which he lands and the due date of the return he he maintain all the records in his uh, uh, particular ledgers and uh, or any other uh, books if the book is not returned on the due date the borrower is charged with fine and if there are anyone tries to make excuse like the book is lost this person just ask please give me the replacement of the book and so he is we can say merciless ruthless in his uh, maintaining of this record uh, though the person is disliked some people say that he is quite rude uh, in his uh, dealing of the books but still still he has not lost his book and as such he is not bothered by his public impression now uh, as such the writer thinks that it is the, the only solution for a person who likes to lend his book is to maintain a very strict uh, record and uh, the uh, demand for the book on the due date next the writer also points out a specific problem of a person who himself is an author apart from other books uh, the author obviously naturally wants to have at least a few copies of his or her own authored books because there is always uh, an emotional attachment uh, for self written books for self authored books like uh, it may be uh, the first edition of a particular book a first printed copy there may be a particular attachment due to some special reasons now if everyone borrows a copy of his or her book doesn't return it one day what will happen he will not have a single copy in his possession <laughs> here narayan points out a interesting fact that when he wants his own books he has to take it from the library and so it is more hard for an author uh, to find that he or she himself or herself doesn't own a single copy of his own work the writer in the end suggests that instead of borrowing a book uh, from its author it is always better to get it from a library because at uh, um, by doing this they can be certain that they have at least a few copies of their own work so dear friends the whole essay is written in a genial humorous tone which is the trademark of rk narayan's uh, writing style and it displays the frustration of a book owner when he is not able to get his book back uh, narayan is known for his witty and gentle criticism of social and personal fibers and in this essay also his charming simplicity uh, wins the readers attention narayan successfully conveys the annoyance of a person who lends his book and doesn't have it uh, back or get it back 
Okay, dear friends, that was all for our session uh, where we discussed this very wonderful essay by R. K. Narayan. I hope you enjoyed it and we will meet soon with another lesson. Thank you, friends.